Hey there, what's happening? Uh, today's video is inspired by some stuff that popped into my own YouTube feed. Um, and that was using baking soda and super glue and combining them uh, almost like an epoxy uh, into like this mega glue. And I had no idea if this actually worked. I honestly thought it was BS when I first saw it. But then I thought, you know, this is a pretty uh, cheap and effective glue if this actually works. Uh, so I'm gonna try it on a few different applications and see what happens. That's a bad idea. So that's what I did. Uh, here's the test I ran. Dad, what are you doing with my stuff? For my project today, I'm gonna be taking an old drumstick and I'm just gonna cut off end and make a little handle out of it. And then I'm gonna take an old jigsaw blade that I have, and I'm just gonna make a little pumpkin carving knife out of it. So let's go ahead and get this cut up. The next thing I wanna do is put a hole in the end of this that's about the same diameter as that is wide. But what I'm gonna do is put that in. And now I have some baking soda, which I've just put in a little oil bottle. And then my liquid super glue. So I'm gonna start by putting some baking soda down both sides of this. And then I'm going to start putting down some drops of super glue. Just pull drops. And you want to put this in basically in layers. I have a little bit more baking soda. Went a little overboard. And I'll put a couple more drops of glue on top. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. Now I made two of these while I was at it. And so these have dried overnight now. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a test and see how much weight they can hold. So here's how I'm going to test this. I'm just gonna do a little lark's head knot. Put that on the blade. About like so, that should hold. Um, and then <clears throat> I've got some weight here. That's 10 pounds to start. I wanna just get that through. Take that 10 pound weight, just set it there. Obviously it can hold 10 pounds just fine. So let's go ahead and up the weight and see what happens. Let's go to 30 pounds. 30 pounds of weight, set that on. Okay, so far so good. All right, there's 40 pounds. So far so good. What the heck, let's go all the way to 50. That's pretty darn heavy. <sighs> so now we're at 50 pounds of weight with nothing but baking soda and super glue holding that blade into that piece of wood. That's pretty impressive. Now let's say unfortunately you hit a rock with your board or your ski. And it was a pretty bad one. You know, the kind that really gouge into your board. That was a pretty bad rock you just hit. So, 
We've got a lot of wood down in there. We definitely would want to fill that. So let's take a little baking soda. Drop in the bottom. Maybe just touch more. There. Okay, we got a good layer of baking soda down in the bottom. Now let's start. Four drops, I think, will suffice there. We'll let that set up, and then we can come back and P-Tex right over the top of it. Totally smooth now. So yeah, that works pretty good as a filler if you got a core shot on your board or skis. So I was gonna start, I actually did start to fill these holes on my workbench. These are old lag bolt holes because I used to have a bench vise here. Um, but I realized it's gonna take a lot of baking soda and glue to fill those. So rather than using that to fill them all the way, I thought maybe I would use some bamboo shish kebab skewers and maybe I can do a little combo here. So I'm gonna put that in. Use a little baking set on both sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue that down the sides. Get plenty of glue on there and then I'm gonna just that. That's already hardening up. All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and uh, cut it off. So while I was at it, I just went ahead and did all four holes. I'm just going to use this to There you go. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I think this is a really cool, quick, uh, easy glue solution for a lot of applications. I wouldn't consider it a full replacement for epoxy by any means, but for a lot of uses, I am gonna probably go to this just because it's so much quicker and simpler than having to mix up a two-part epoxy and then waiting for that to dry. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.